use and or view at your own risk. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up either an Outlook.com or a Live.com email account. This should also work for Hotmail.com as long as you're using the IMAP4 protocol or the Internet Message Access Protocol, what's commonly known as IMAP. Um, if you want to use POP with either an Outlook.com address or a Live.com address, you'll actually have to go to your MSN account and enable POP3 access. I'll do a, try to do a different video on setting POP3 up, you know, how to go into your account, change it, and then set it up later on. Right now, uh, we're going to set up an Outlook.com email address. We're going to do it in Android, and we're going to do it using Android's default email um, application. All right. So you can see we've got that on the desktop already. We'll go ahead and open up the email application. And then, of course, it'll ask you for your email address. Go ahead and type in your full email address, including the at symbol and the dot com, be it either a live.com or an outlook.com address. Make sure, take it slow. This is why people get so frustrated when trying to set up email accounts or set up uh, email clients or whatever you want to refer to it as. Any tiny mistake you make is going to end up haunting you. So just go slow. Look, make sure that that's your correct email address. There aren't any typos in it and you're ready to go. So then instead of hitting the next arrow or next, click manual setup. Now depending on the client you're using, this may not be the way that it is, but this will give you the general idea and will give you all the server settings and all the authentication types and all that good stuff. So we'll hit manual setup. And then again, we're going to use IMAP. So we'll select IMAP. You'll need to put in your password. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we've got our password in there. Again, don't mean to be redundant or annoying. Take it slow. Make sure you've got the proper password or you're going to be wondering what's going on. And then people start bouncing around and changing other settings and it's really a typo or they mistyped their password or something. Hit the next um, arrow or, or next depending on what you see. Double check the information you've already entered. Again, triple check it I guess at, at this point. We've got the proper email address with the, the at symbol and the dot com. We've got our password, um, our IMAP server address in this case is correct. If you were using, if you typed in a live.com email address, it's going to default off to imap.live.com. You'll need to change that and make sure it says Outlook. You can also use, go right in between the P and the period, put a minus sign or a hash or, or a dash and type in the word mail. Either one of these server server addresses will work. So you can either use imap.outlook.com or imap-mail.outlook.com for either Outlook, Live, and it should work for Hotmail too. Again, what Microsoft, uh, Microsoft tried to do was homogenize or consolidate everything uh, into one server address. Now the security type that we want to use is TLS. In the newer versions of Android and on some email clients it'll just say TLS. It won't say SSL or TLS as you see here. That's the only thing we have to select from here so that's fine. Just SSL, TLS. It should default off to port 993. If it doesn't, make sure it says port 993. Now we're going to hit the next button and what it's going to do is go out and validate our server settings. So we'll go ahead and click next. It's validating the server settings. And if we got everything right, it'll move on to the outgoing server. Again, it got the uh, server or SMTP server address correct. You can also use SMTP just like the, the IMAP. You can also use SMTP 
dash or minus sign male also. As far as I understand, that's the preferred address or the latest server address that Microsoft has put out. The security type for your outgoing server is different. That'll be Start TLS. Not Start TLS except all certificates, but just plain Start TLS. Select that. The port will not come up correct. We'll need to change that from 25 to 587. Down. We will be required to sign in to send mail out. Make sure, again, the entire address is in there. The at symbol and the dot com, BitHotmail Live or Outlook. Make sure you got everything correct. Click the next button. It'll validate the SMTP server settings. And then it's just time to set uh, your personal options on your, your email account. So inbox checking frequency every 15 minutes, a little bit much for me, every, every hour is fine. Notify me when email arrives, that's fine. Sync this account, that's all right, I'll do that manually. And so it's not gonna check for every hour, but when I click, you know, sync automatically, then it'll check every hour. I'm gonna do it manually, because that's just the way I don't, nobody emails me, not till they see my address on this video. <laughs> Anyway, automatically download uh, attachments from connected to Wi-Fi. I don't ever do that, Wi-Fi or not. Go ahead and click the next arrow. Now you're going to give the account a name. I su would highly suggest you leave your entire email address in there in case you have different email accounts, and that way you'll know exactly which one it comes from. Your name, this will be, this is not the return address that will be shown, but this will just be your name, so... Of course, put your first name only, your last name only, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then we'll click next for the next arrow. And your account, your account is created. And I turned off my connection, so that's why you're seeing that. If you have any trouble or you need to change the settings for the account that you just created, just go to the hamburger menu, click that, go all the way down to settings, and then you can select the particular account that you created, and then you can go through the settings and um, change them to however you prefer. You can also uh, look at the incoming and outgoing server settings here. If you mess the account up, if you're in Android 6 and above, you can actually delete the account from here. If you're in anything below Android 6, don't quote me on that, you can go to settings, then accounts, and you can see here that that IMAP account is here and you can just select it then click on that actual account and then come up to the little hamburger menu or the menu and um, it'll allow you to delete it. Well, I'm sorry you have to click that account then highlight it then come up and it'll allow you to remove the account there. Alright, well, I certainly hope that helps you out and cuts your aggravation down. And thank you for watching.